Hello and thank you. Thank you for having me. Uh, my name is Leo Kuichikato. I'm the CEO and president of uh, UdaNet Advertise Inc., which is a consulting company focused on e-commerce and dark marketing. Um, today I'm going to uh, talk about 100% sure way to make internet advertising more profitable. Um, and uh, like uh, I've been introduced, uh, it's all proven today. I've done 100 times. A I've, I've done 100. Uh, uh, A/B testing. I'm, I've been doing A/B testing for about 15 years, and uh, I'm going to give you a cheat sheet today. Uh, first of all, uh, to introduce myself, uh, I was born in Brazil and raised in the U.S. Uh, and I came to Japan when I was 18. I've worked in companies like Mitsubishi Corporation, Havas Worldwide, and Asatsu DK, and I established RedNet Advertising Inc. Uh, six years ago. And uh, basically, uh, our company is based in Fukuoka. Uh, which is a very, very popular place for uh, uh, mail order companies. And we also have office in uh, Tokyo. Uh, our company, Urena Advertising, has provided consulting for over 70% of top Japanese e-commerce companies, including companies like Yazua, Jimos, Happiness Club, Yamada Bee Farm, Kao, Sansa, House, House Foods, Eizai, Ajinomoto, Oklo Marketing, Lion, Morinaga, Kowa, Asahi, Nishin, Roto, Manara, Frente, and Nishin Pharma, and Kaobi. So basically, uh, yeah, we basically dominate the consulting uh, world of uh, e-commerce here in Japan. Um, first of all, let me make a declaration. If you diligently put into practice the marketing structure outlined in this session, I 100% guarantee that you will see an increase on your internet advertising ROI. Now, how can I say such a thing? As I've been introduced, you know, since 2000, for roughly about 16 years, I've worked with an array of e-commerce company. And I've, uh, I've used over uh, 20 billion yen. And I've done hundreds of A-B testing. And I'm going to give you a cheat sheet today, uh, which has been proven for, from uh, over five or more companies. And uh, firstly, the basic rules of uh, success in digital marketing is high response rate, high sample to purchase conversion rate, and thirdly, high repeat rate. Um, to uh, succeed in e-commerce, you're going to have to cover all these uh, rules here. And uh, in fact, a lot, a lot of uh, e-commerce e companies, they focus on the advertising part. But the important thing is the CRM part. And you're going to have to cover all three of these uh, rules to uh, succeed. And I'm going to give you the cheat sheet for each of these rules. OK, chapter one, how to increase internet advertising conversion rate. First of all, what you want to do is Link your internet advertising to an advertising exclusive landing page, and your conversion rate will soar. Uh, for example, uh, what, what the, the, the first thing you don't want to do is you don't want to link your internet advertising to an e-commerce site. Yes, that's right. You don't want to link it to your e-commerce site. What you want to do is you want to link it to a landing page that is focused on just selling your products. So uh, if you look at succeeding companies in uh, Japan, uh, in e-commerce who, who do advertising, you're not going to see them linking their uh, uh, advertising to regular EC sites. You're going you're, you're you're, you're to see them linking them to uh, advertising exclusive uh, landing pages. For instance, if you're selling uh, product A on the uh, internet, uh, when, the, when the advertising is clicked, you should lead users to an advertising exclusive landing page in which the only product A could be purchased or ordered. You don't want to give other choices to the customers. You want to create a page that has only the necessary core information that focuses on just selling just that one item. You don't want to give, you don't want to give other information. You just want to focus on selling the products. So you want, what you want to do is you want to always 100% lead it to a landing page. So you, you got to make a landing page. That's the first thing you want to do. Uh, for example, Yazuya, which is the one of the most uh, succeeding companies in e-commerce companies in Japan. Ten years ago, they were le leading uh, their online advertising to regular uh, EC sites, you know? But look at it, you know, it's just a regular boring EC site. But now what they do is uh, they lead it to a landing page. They link it to a landing page. This is uh, Gmos. Uh, it's, it's a cosmetic company uh, who has sales of uh, about 100 million US dollars right now. And uh, they used to link it to a regular EC site a long time ago, but now they link it to a landing page. Um, so if you make a landing page, and if you uh, uh, direct your online advertising to landing page, it will increase by 1.9 times to about 3.2 times. 
than directing it to a regular EC site. So you, the first thing you want to do is make a landing page. That's the basic rule. OK, so once you make a landing page, let me ask a question. Uh, who in here makes a, a landing page when, you do it, when they do their online marketing campaigns? OK, awesome, yeah. I'm sure that you're making a lot of uh, landing pages right now. You're a making A-B testing. But I've done hundreds of A-B testing on landing pages. And the first thing you want to uh, do is uh, you don't want to link your landing page into a shopping cart. That's the worst case scenario. What you want to do is embed the registration form onto the landing page itself. Um, the most loser email companies are pairing shopping carts with landing pages. For instance, you, know, you have a landing page, right? A lot of people here has a landing page. And what a lot of uh, e-commerce companies tend to do is uh, they try to, once you press the order button here, they, they use, they're pairing it with a regular shopping cart. You don't want to do that. Shopping carts is the worst way for, uh, it's, a worst, it's the worst back end for uh, uh, landing pages. Because uh, the, usually uh, the average uh, registration carts in Japan is uh, about eight, eight pages long. Um, once you, know, you uh, invest a lot in advertising, you have a lot of people coming in. And once they push the order button, what will happen is they, they go to the product detail page. And after you press this button, you go to the shopping cart page. After you press the button, you go to the login page. After you press this button, you go to the deliver average input page. After you press this button, you go to the payment page. After you press this button, you go to the confirmation page. And at the very end, you have the order completion page. I mean, who's going to order through this, uh, you know, eight, eight page, eight page uh, you, you, the steps are too, too long for, uh, the pro, uh, for the customers to fill out. And the longer the, the, longer the steps, you know, you're going to have a lot of people, you're going to lose your customers every time you, uh, uh, every time you uh, move on to the next slide. Uh, and and uh, you don't want to do that. It, I call this the bu uh, leaky bucket syndrome, you know. Where people just where you lose your customers every single time you go forward on the shopping carts, and the statistics say that uh, seventy percent of the people will will not go to the order completion page even if they press the order button. See, it's a leaky bucket syndrome. So what do you want to do? Uh, this the logic is very simple. So what you want to do is. Embed the registration form onto the landing page itself, and the conversion rate will increase by 1.5 to 2.5 times. So uh, embedding the order form onto the landing page reduces the number of clicks needed to, for, for uh, success, successful purchases. So you just want to make it into three simple steps. First of all, you have the landing page. After you fill out the form, you go to the confirmation page. After you uh, go to the confirmation page, you go, you go to the completion page. Three easy steps. And as marketers, you know, I think everybody here knows, you know, which is better, eight steps or three steps. So this is the first rule that you want to do when you make a landing page. There is no meaning to just make a landing page. You have to embed your registration form inside the landing page. That is the first big rule. And in reality, uh, a lot of successful companies, for instance, like uh, Lion, Ajinomoto, Yazuya, uh, Saishunkan, most uh, successful uh, Japanese e-commerce companies, they usually embed their registration form in that landing page. Nobody uses uh, shopping carts. No successful company uses shopping carts anymore. Another technique. And this is the number t one technique that uh, dramatically increases uh, upsell rates. Uh, the secret, secret of upselling I am, I am about to reveal is the single most powerful key to success of my clients. Uh, that I have experienced. And what you want to do is increase the upsell rate using the confirmation page. Okay, most loser email companies are trying to upsell on the landing page. For instance, you see this a lot, you know? You have a landing page, uh, and, and a lot of landing pages offer like free trial samples. They usually have like two, two or three buttons, right? And they, they offer free trial samples and a purchase full size product button. And they also have like a register auto fill program button. And they also have like add a B, uh, B product button. And, and this, is like the, this is like a big mistake. If you want to dramatically increase your online upsell rate, right, take advantage of your confirmation page. Do not try to sell on the landing page. Do not. But on the confirmation page, 
uh, but if you want to upsell on the confirmation page, and uh, for uh, right before they uh, they uh, they successfully filled out their form. So this is the best technique over here. So the best technique you want to use is promote upsell offers on your confirmation page, and your internet advertising profitability will multiply. Okay, so what you want to do is uh, when prospects are one click away from completing their purchase, they are likely most well to respond to upsell offers. Uh, right, what you want to do is right before the confirmation pops up, um, stop the customer. This is a confirmation, but you want to stop the customer here, and you want to convince that, that he or her upsell is better deal by giving them two choices side by side. So you have two icons here. Two buttons over here, right? The left choice, for instance, if, if, if this was a seven-day trial offer landing page, what you want to do is you want to stop them inside the confirmation page, and you want to give upsell offers here. And what you're going to do is place two buttons. The left choice over here, it says, uh, you know, seven-day free trial sample, you know? And on the right side, it says 30-day product uh, purchase. Um, and the thing is, uh, when prospects are one click away, and you give them an upsell offer here, what they tend to do is they'll click the right button and upsell. Um, so uh, this is the best technique used right now in the e-commerce company, especially in uh, uh, supplement, supplement products and cosmetic products. Yeah. And this is the numbers of the case study of, from my actual clients of mine uh, using the confirmation upsell page. Uh, for, for instance, case study number one, landing page. In the landing page, they have a free trial, right? And once they get into the confirmation page, they upsell to the product purchase. And the best uh, rate we had was 24% from a sample to purchase conversion rate. Case study number two, from 500 in trial sample to product purchase. In the landing page, you give out 500 trials. And in the confirmation page, you give out a product purchase upsell. And best upsell rate was 48%. Case study number three. Um, from product A to product B. You know, all of you want to cross-sell your products, right? So the best way to do it is just give out product A in, at the landing page, and once your customers go to the confirmation page, you, you, you upsell uh, product B. And the best way upsell rate we had was 61%. In case study, study number four, for one-time purchase to AutoShip program. In the landing page, you, know, you, just, you just give out one-time purchase. You, know, you want to lower the hurdle here. And once they go to the confirmation page, you upsell them to, into auto ship program. Usually, auto ship program uh, is has uh, you're enabled to get three times more LTV and then regular one-time purchase. And the best upsell rate we had was 83%. So uh, the confirmation page upsell is the most powerful way to upsell. You do not want to do this in the landing page. You want to always upsell on the confirmation page. I've done this with like 200 clients, and uh, you know, um, and uh, they've all succeeded in upsell. The bi the biggest upsell we had was 10 times uh, compared to upselling on, on inside the landing page. Okay, LP technique number three: increasing customer refer referrals and reviews online. Okay, first of all, customers do not want to post reviews on products inside their social media. You know? If it was an iPhone or something, considering in, uh, like, it was like, if it's, it was like an entertainment uh, theme, you know, they, they will uh, post it on their Facebook and Twitter, but they, they usually do, don't, don't want to post e-commerce e products. You know? They don't want to post cosmetics on their face, Facebook and Twitter. You know? And uh, the thing is, uh, a lot of, lot of companies in Japan, uh, they try to, uh, put in uh, Facebook like, like buttons and tweet buttons inside their landing page, but you don't want to do that. What you want to do is get your referrals on the completion page. First of all, your completion page doesn't make any money. It's just a page saying thank you for ordering, right? Uh, so what you, want to, you want to use that in a good sense. And what our clients usually do is they increase the internet customer referrals by suggesting a referral friend option on the order completion page. And why is that? Because um, the thing is, uh, once your customers you know, complete their orders, that's the timing when they, when they want to share uh, your products. Because um, the, the, 
uh, uh, the people, uh, uh, when they order, you know, they're really uh, happy that they ordered. So this is like the best timing for them to, uh, you know, introduce another friend from uh, using Twitter and Facebook. And all, all of our clients at Udernet Advertising, they use the ba basic four rules, you know. First of all, they make a landing page. They 100% they embed the registration form on the side landing page. They use confirmation upsell, and they use a referral page on the completion page, yeah. Secondly, I would like to talk about CRM. The CRM imp implemented by the most e-commerce companies is, in my opinion, trash. Um, so, uh, so you want to you want to you want to maximize your uh, LTV by doing the uh, best CRM practice, and I'm going to give you the cheat sheet for that also. First of all, what you want to do is send exclusive follow-up emails and line messages according to the purpose of each stage. Usually in uh, direct marketing, there is uh, four uh, important stages. Response stage, sample to purchase stage, repeat stage, and cross sales stage. And most loser email companies are just simply delivering newsletters. You know, they deliver newsletters, yeah? Um, but let me make a bold statement here. Stop sending out ma mail newsletters immediately. Um, the more e-commerce e companies sends out uh, mail, uh, mail magazines or mail uh, newsletters, the more is likely to fail because the customer nowadays do not read newsletters. That is a fact. The, o the opening rate of a regular newsletter is 10%. You know, nobody even clicks the URL inside the newsletters. Nobody buys it from the newsletters. So what you want to do is deliver exclusive follow-up emails according to the purpose of each stage. Okay, uh, in order to run an effective CRM, you need to switch from mail magazine or mail newsletter concept to a follow-up email concept. Follow-up email concept. To increase conversion rate and repeat rates in terms of the CRM, uh, you want to create a customized, customized follow-up email and customized, customized uh, landing pages for each of the conversion stages over here. So um, let's say that you generate leads, leads from a free sample, right? Well, so what, we wanna, what you want to do is uh, send follow-up emails for sample to repeat. And once they uh, order inside the landing page for sample to repeat, what you want to do is send up follow-up emails for repeat. And you want to link it to a landing page for repeat. So in other words, you're going you're gonna, to uh, throw away your uh, uh, mail magazines and email newsletters, and you're going to change it to a follow-up email program. And uh, it's customized for each stage. And as you can see, we use landing pages for each stage. We don't uh, link it to regular EC sites. So uh, even, if you're, even if you want to have your customers repeat for a second time, or if you want to cross-sell to another product, we always make a landing page, always. Okay, so what's the basic difference between uh, regular uh, newsletters and the follow-up email programs? Um, well, first of all, you want to also do this with Line, which is a big thing in Japan right now. You want to do the same thing with Line. So what's the basic difference between newsletters and follow-up email programs? Uh, the basic uh, success rules of, uh, of uh, follow-up email programs is, I'm going to explain for now, but um, first of all, you want to do is Send follow-up email according to the consumption cycle, and your conversion rate will increase. Well, first of all, the downfall of most uh, mail magazines or newsletters is that they're sent regardless of, you know, regardless of the product or the sample order date or the product purchase date. You know? Mail magazines are distributed only on weekly or monthly basis right now, right? So you, you usually send uh, newsletters like once a week, twice a month, you know? And uh, however, customers order products or sample at different times. You know, people, you, I mean, there's, like thir there's 30 days in a month, you know? They order at different times. Some order on Monday, some order on Friday, and some order at the beginning of the month, some order at the, beginning, at, at the end of the month. But what your newsletters do is you guys send it at the same time to all your customers. And that's the, uh, that's the thing you don't want to do. So, what you want to do is increase conversion rate by sending it according to the consumption cycle. 
So send follow follow-up emails according to the consumption cycle, and it will be timely and relevant for customers to increase conversion rate and repeat rates. For example, if the customer orders a seven-day trial sample, then send the follow-up emails around day six, right? And uh, when, she, when she or he is about to use the sample. And ask, ask in your conversion follow-up emails, would you like to continue using our products? Yeah, that's the best way. So you just don't want to send it to all your customers at the same time. You want to customize it to every, you want to customize your timing to every single of your customers. For example, if a customer purchased a 30-day product, so when is the best time to send an email? Yes, when they're about to use it up. So you want to send it around day 25, right? By doing so, your customers will notice that their supply is running low and they want to reorder and continue their supply. This leads to a dramatic increase on the conversion rate for CRM. And you want to do the same thing with Line Business Connect. Um, Line uh, gave out an API uh, a year and a half ago, uh, enabling everybody here to use Line as a similar methodology as a follow-up email. So you're, gonna, you're able to use Line right now. Uh, in addition to emails uh, for CRM. So uh, you want to do the same thing with line. You know, you send line according to the consumption cycle. Same thing. Okay, the second rule of CRMs is keep track of your customer's order time and send your follow-up emails accordingly. This will increase your conver conversion rate and repeat rate. Okay, um, first of all, customers have different order times, right? Uh, some order at you know, 9 p.m. at night, and some order at 10 a.m. in the morning, right? Um, customers have access to the computer at different times of the day, and their craving to buy products is at different times of the day, right? So further, to further uh, boost your uh, follow-up email, track each cu customer's order time and send your follow-up emails according to that time. So what you want to do is the strategy and mentality is, if a customer A orders your product at 9 p.m., you want to send your follow-up emails and lines at 9 p.m. Are you getting where I'm at? Yeah. So if your uh, customer orders at 10 a.m. in the morning, you want to send your follow-up emails uh, later on at 10 a.m. Yeah. So, um, so send your mail at the customer's order date he or she is most likely to be online and will be at the peak of their craving to buy. If you take this extra time of effort tracking, your follow-up email will reach each customer at the most opportune time and will increase the conversion and repeat rate. You want to do the same thing with line also. Okay. Um, the th third rule is uh, enable customers to make online purchase with one click from their follow-up emails and line messages. Okay, first of all, let me say that manual inputting is dead. Most loser e-commerce companies have their customers manually put their personal information inside the website. Every single time they send an email. Or what most of you guys do is you have your, you have your customer log in to the website using the user ID and password. Every single time they send the email. Same URL. You're sending the same URL inside the news letters. And each of your customers has to you know, put, input their ID and password and log in for the second or third time. But let's face it, that's, a, that's such a pain in the ass. And also, more or worse, customers usually forget their user ID and password. That's a fact. So what you want to do is, the latest then the most powerful way to raise conversion rate via email is, or line, is enabling customers to make online purchase with just one click from your follow-up emails by giving them a unique URL. That's right, a unique URL. So, the, what you want to do is you want to send a unique URL to each of your customers. And when the customers click the URL, what happens is, voila! The order form fields are already pre-filled because they filled it out the first, on the first purchase, right? So all your customer has to do is just click the order button and they're done. 
big sales. I mean, as marketers, I think you guys all know that, you know, this is, a, this, is the most easier, this is the most easiest way for the customers to buy it for the second or third time. Yeah. Also, you want to do that with Line. Same thing with Line. Just, just order in one click. So send unique URLs. Do not send the same URL to all your customers. Don't, ha don't have them, uh, you, know, you don't want to have them you know, log in for a second or third time. You just want to have them, you want to have them order in just one click. Okay. Also, if you include package inserts, customers for internet customers, then the conversion repeat rate will rise. Okay, this is, uh, I'm going to talk about package inserts here. Uh, if the package inserts for offline purchase, direct, direct customers by, uh, if, you're, uh, if you uh, get leads from offline ads, Usually the people, uh, usually the customers that comes from uh, offline ads are usually, you know, older, right? right. And uh, they tend to use telephone or postcards or fax as their uh, method of uh, ordering. So, you know, this is a regular, uh, you know, package insert, right? But what you want to do is when you get leads generated from online ads, you want to divide your uh, uh, package inserts. First of all, you want to make it younger, you know? Because online user, users are a little bit younger. But, but, but the most important thing is uh, you want to change their uh, um, order method. Uh, see, the package inserts that uh, is generated from offline is usually put in a postcard or, or a, a telephone or a fax. But if you want to uh, maximize uh, the conversion rates from uh, leads generated from online ads, you want to put in a URL. Search keyword, keyword uh, QR code, because uh, the thing about internet users is the uh, internet users tend to uh, uh, you know repeat and cross sell for the second and third time uh, via internet. The the statistics say it's about eighty percent. If you, if an internet user buy it, buys it from an e-commerce site for the first time, they're they're going to tend to. 80% of the customers are going to order from the internet the second or third time. Only 10 or 20% will order from telephone or postcards. That's a fact. So what you want to do is you want to you know, have two package inserts here. And this is my client, Gmos. Uh, look at this package insert. This is a package insert uh, from, for the customers, uh, for the leads that uh, generate from offline ads. As you can see, it has a telephone number, fax, and a postcard, All right? And this is a, a brochure here uh, from, for leads uh, generated from online ads. The uh, search keyword, URL, and QR code. So, you know, they divide the two package inserts here. And that's a very good technique for uh, e-commerce companies. Okay, so the summary is, first of all, this is the summary of what not to do. The thing is, many e-commerce companies launch their internet ads directly into the company website, as I told you. And the thing is, a lot of company websites or landing pages use the shopping cart system. You don't want to do that. Yeah. Moreover, a uh, few leads are bombarded with irrelevant mail magazines or newsletters, yeah. and over and over, which continue to direct them to regular company websites. So uh, what all of you, all, what most of the people here are doing is, uh, even though they get a good uh, lead from uh, online advertising, what they try to do is uh, they, 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 mo they send news stupid newsletters over and over, and they link it to regular e-commerce sites over and over. I mean, let me tell you, this is not marketing. I'm telling you that any fool can do these kinds of things, right? But, the, the, but I don't want you guys to, you guys to worry, because uh, from what I've seen, 90% uh, of e-commerce companies business actually carry out this kind of structure. Uh, so this is like a, so the thing is, uh, um, the fact that you attended the seminar today uh, is, I think it's a big chance because uh, why other uh, companies are doing this, you've uh, learned today the best techniques to raise a, a conversion rate and repeat rate and cross sell rates. And uh, here's a summary of the winning team. How to succeed in internet marketing. This is a summary. Okay, first of all, 
As a, res uh, as a result, your response, your response rate, conversion rate, repeat rate, and cross-sell will increase dramatically. Um, so what you want to do is, first of all, when you do online advertising, you want to link it to an advertising exclusive landing pages. Inside the landing page, you want to embed order form, to form into the landing page. You don't want to ship, you don't want to use shopping carts. You want to upsell inside the confirmation page. You want to refer a friend option on, on the order completion page. And once you send your uh, trial or your product to your customers, you want to put in a package inserts customized for internet users, right? And what you want to do is send follow-up emails for sample to purchase. In the emails, what do you, what do you have to do? You're going to have to send it, in, send it according to the consumption cycle. Send it according to the first order timing. And you want to also put in a one-click ordering system, right? And what, what you're going to, you, want to, you also want to send lines. And what, what you're going to do is you're going to link it to landing page customized for sample to purchase. The same thing. Order, order form embedded LP, confirmation page upsell, uh, or refer a friend option confirmation page. And once, they, once your uh, customers buy the, their first products, you want to send follow-up emails for repeat. The same thing. Consumption cycle, first order timing, one click ordering. And you want to link it to landing page customers for, to drive repeat purchase. If you have another product, you know, if, if, if you have a lot of products, you also want to send, uh, addition, addition to this, you want to send emails, follow-up emails for cross-sell. And you want to link it to a, a landing page customers for cross-selling. And if you do that, you know, your uh, response rate will rise, your sample to purchase state, uh, sample to purchase rate will rise, your repeat rate will rise, and your cross-sell rate will rise, and your L you, you're going to be able to maximize your LTV to drive up sales. This is the uh, most, in my experience of the 16 years, and uh, several hundred A-B tests I performed. Uh, today, I've, I've revealed the results of A-B testing performed that increased all the rates. And therefore, if you implement the content I've described in this, this session, your ROS will increase, without a doubt. Um, but the thing is, um, how to put this into action is the most important thing. And the, there's an a ASP, a system or application that I would like to recommend to everybody here. It's called Udenet Kokuskuru. Use the Udenet Kokuskuru application by Kyushu University IT Venture Fusic, and the powerful structure outlined in the session can be easily implemented at a low cost. Uh, what this is is an application. And uh, the thing is, with this application, uh, I have supervised many software options, uh, software uh, products in Japan, but the application I recommend the most is this Udenet Kokuskuru because I've supervised it 100%. If you use Udenet Kokuskuru, then all of the structures outlined in the session that I spoke today uh, can be easily reproduced. Yes, all of the, uh, all of the structures in this session. The embedded landing pages, the confirmation upsell, the uh, uh, referral completion page, uh, using line as a follow-up program, everything I've talked about today can be implemented here. And the amazing application is a one in kind, not only in Japan, in the world. And the pricing is very low. It's a monthly fee, uh, fee of uh, uh, 99,000 yen. Yeah. Lastly, I would like to make a special offer to everybody, which is free consulting. Yeah. Um, so today, you know, I've, I only had about 30 minutes to talk. And there's a lot of more techniques involved in uh, e-commerce. Uh, and I would like to, uh, well, I or my staff would like to introduce everybody here, uh, the other techniques used in uh, our consulting business. And, but the thing is, um, please have a Japanese speaker on site during the free consulting because 99% of my employees uh, don't speak English. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And this is a case study of the, of the companies who use the techniques that was talked in the session, and that, that implemented Uden Kokuskuru, and they uh, put it into action, yeah. Um, first of all, this is a case study, a skincare product. Their annual ROS was 31%. And by using the techniques that I spoke in this session, the ROS rose from 
31% to 192%. 6.19 times, yeah. ROS, return on advertising spend, right? Yeah. And this is case study number two. Nutri nutritional supplement product company. Their ROS used to be 29%. But after uh, they implemented the techniques used that I spoke in this uh, session, their ROS, annual ROS rose from uh, 21% to 338%. 11.6 times. With the Uren School application, you do not need to hire an outside system company or a production company or a consulting company like mine. You know, you, you could, you're able to, uh, you know, implement uh, the techniques I, I spoke in this session, you know, um, with a low cost, and you're going to be able to start it like next month. Yeah. So lastly, let me make a declaration. If you diligently put into practice the marketing structure that I've outlined in this session, I 100% guarantee that you'll see an increase on your internet advertising ROI. Um, the only difference between a successful uh, e-commerce company and a loser e-commerce company is the only difference is if you're going to implement this in your business or not. Please implement it and uh, I uh, guarantee that you will have a rise on your online advertising ROI. Okay, thank you all for listening.